These are some of the vaping devices that Memorial High School staff have seized from students in the last couple of years. Some are hard to identify, looking more like a thumb drive than an e-cigarette. It's a concern. There's a concern on a number of reasons. Principal Arthur Adamakis says in the last school year, the number of vaping cases has tripled compared to the year before. He says it's a problem almost everywhere, and they're just starting to understand the risks and ways to stop it. It's not as clear-cut as finding cigarettes and a, a lighter on someone like the, used, the old days used to be. Now they're a little bit more sophisticated than that, and that's what really um, makes our job a little bit more difficult to, uh, to stop. Health officials say they've seen an increase of vaping-related lung injuries, and there have been six deaths across the country linked to vaping. So far, nothing like that has been reported in New Hampshire, but the state health department is sending out a warning. By 12th grade, um, upwards of one in three high school seniors report using electronic vaping products, which is a major concern because they can potentially set up a, a pattern of lifelong addiction to uh, tobacco products um, and can also have serious health consequences. Manchester school officials say they will be presenting an anti-vaping program to the school board later this month that will include a mentoring program where older students will talk with younger ones about the dangerous realities of vaping. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.